Okay. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm How Kev. Are... Kev McKids. I'm Marty. Martin Anderson. <laughs> We're here uh, promoting Grey's Anatomy in London. For all you uh, British fans, all the Facebook fans yeah. around the so world. We've got, we've got a big bowl of questions here from fans, and we're going to pick one out. I'll pick one out and ask Martin, and we're going to do vice versa, okay? So, shall I, you, shall I start? Yeah, you start. Yeah, okay. here we go. Oof. Drum right. roll, please. Drum roll, please. Here we go. So, Martin. Yes, Kev. Um, ha, this is from Lee, uh, for Lee Vogtlander. <laughs> That's, a, that's the question, that's actually. A, that's that's the, question. the question is, where is Lee Vogt? <laughs> yeah. um, how do you balance work and home life with such a busy schedule? But and home life with such a busy schedule. Well, the truth is, there's about 15 or 16 actors on the cast of Grey's Anatomy. So, really, I would be lying to say that our workload is super, super heavy. When you're really featured in an episode, it can be, but... You know, it actually is what's unique about Grey's Anatomy is it gives you time off to be with your family, to be with your friends. So, actually, this, this I find for a television schedule, it's, it's actually quite accommodating to have a personal life. Yeah, do you agree? Okay. I do agree. Yeah, yeah. We're very agree. fortunate. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's my turn. That's your, your question, turn. huh? Okay. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is from Claudia. Boja, da, Boja. Is that you want to beat Boja or Boja? Boja. I say Boja. Boja. This is from Claudia Boja from Northern Ireland. See, because I tried to do it in an Irish accent, but it's going to sound like <laughs> not so good. Okay, this is. Oh, there's a question for Martin. Oh, oh, oh shoot. Okay, question for Martin. The majority of the cast have known or worked together for years. What was it like to join the team? What was your first day like? And did you know anyone prior to your start? Uh, it was a bit like, my first day was a bit like going to school um, and being the new kid at school. Like when everyone else had sort of arrived and formed, you know, their little friendships and everyone knew the drill and knew the teachers and I didn't know what was going on. So it was a bit nerve wracking. My first day at work, I was super, super nervous. Uh, I kept flubbing my lines because I was, and I was very tired because I hadn't slept the night before because I was very nervous. Um, but everyone was very warm and welcoming, actually, so it, it wasn't so bad as I, as I feared. Um, and I did know Sarah Drew, because I'd done a pilot with her, and I knew Jason George, because we'd done a show together, too. So it was actually very nice to see some familiar faces there. And, and Kevin was very nice to me. He sort of gave me a hug and stroked my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. My quick Kevin. Okay. This is, by the way, this is from Tenille Toussaint. Hi, Tenille. Tenille. Okay, so Kevin, what is it like directing your fellow castmates? Oh, good questions here. It's a tricky one. He's one of the cast are here, but um, yeah, exactly. it's you know it's great. I remember when I first directed, I felt the same way as Martin felt the first time I directed. Didn't sleep. Was terrified, exhausted, scared. I was going to mess everything up and. The whole cast, when I started directing, were really sweet to me, you know. Everybody knew, I think most of the cast could see how, through my eyes, <laughs> how terrifying the whole thing is. And so all the cast were like, where do you want me to be? What do you want me to do? I'll do just, you know, didn't, I didn't question anything for the first episode I directed, pretty much. And then the second and one? And then the second one, they started to go, wait a minute, no, I think my character would do this and blah, blah, blah. But, so people were really sweet to me. They gave me, a, they cut me a lot of slack when I started directing because they could see that I was completely a, a fish out of water and terrified yeah he's a very good director by the way <laughs> very very good all right i'm gonna ask you another one because uh, oh, you had two yeah more. i had one for me so uh okay kev so this is from katie sarah if Grey's anatomy did another musical episode which song would you most like to sing and any particular reason for choosing that song <laughs> good um mm -hmm. So many good songs, man. So many good songs. I would... Mm, mm, Stairway to Heaven. Let's do Stairway to Heaven, that's it. 
Because for obvious reasons, you know, because we're, we're almost killing all the patients. What does that song mean? I don't know, but it's just the you know, it's just the title. You know? <laughs> like we're all like, especially you, you kill all your patients. I've killed a few. So like, we all kill our patients all the time. So like, Stairway to Heaven's pretty apt, I'd say. That's a very good answer, Kevin. It's a very, very dismal answer. Little bleak. At least they're going to heaven. They're going to heaven. Exactly. They're going to heaven. Yeah. Oh, after you go. You didn't like that one. Okay, from Ali Jackson. Um, what's the funniest thing that happened to you on a set during the part, uh, season 12? The water kitchen. Um, the funniest thing that happened to me yeah. so far on set. It, what was her name? Ali. Ali. Ali Jackson. Hey, Ali. Um, the funniest thing that happened to me on set. The funniest thing is watching Katarina. Who's, how many years has Katarina been on the show? Mm, about three. Three years. So watching Katarina, who's been on the show for three years, still get lost trying to find the bathrooms on set. That's <laughs> true. That actually makes me laugh the most. Every time she, she literally walks to dead ends, realizes that she's hit a dead end, and then I laugh as she turns around and tries to find it. <laughs> That's true. That is funny. It's yeah. hilarious. Oh, she's <laughs> she's <laughs> no sense of direction. She has no whatsoever. idea where she is at any time. Yeah. Okay, Ma oh, you have to, oh, you just asked me that. Right, Let me get another one then. Right. Let me get another one. Okay, I'll save this you one. Can, yeah. Kevin, what is your favorite episode to watch yourself in? From <laughs> Sean Ellis. Hi, Sean. Well, I don't really like watching myself. It's a bit like, you know, um, it's a bit like when you hear your voice on a, on a voicemail, you know, I, I get very self-conscious. <laughs> I've always hated watching myself, you know? Oh, I don't do it. I don't, I I don't, don't do particularly it. like to watch myself at all. I don't like listening to myself either. Yeah, yeah. So, but if I had to pick an episode, hmm, I probably think there was, a, there was an episode. Sandra O, stuck with Sandra. Well, there was an episode in season six where the, the whole episode was a big flashback to my time trauma in Iraq. And that was fun to film. So, and it was all you know, being all covered in dust and yeah. like driving about and big trucks and getting off and on helicopters and all that kind of stuff. So that I'd watch that episode again because it was really fun to film and it was quite different from our normal episodes. So there you go. Okay, this is a question for you. Yeah. Sara De Lucia, um, she asks, Martin, who's your best friend on set? Hmm. The best friend on set. Sada. Ciao. Sounds Italian. It's not. Apologize. Um, who's my best friend on set? You know, I, I'm, I feel very close to Sarah Drew, um, actually, just because I think I knew her from before. But I'm getting very close to Kev, because we're spending a lot of time... Yeah, that was the right answer. I knew you were going to say that. I was yeah. sitting here winking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to let you stew for a bit. I say he's my mate. Not on screen though. We're like that yeah, we hate each other. On we hate each other on screen. All right, here we go. Um, okay, let's get this. Uh, oh no, I'm asking you. Oh, really? you just asked me that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think you're a frustrated journalist. Okay, what's your favorite TV show at the moment? And that's from Ellie Davy. Hi, Ellie. Um, I have been enjoying uh, Parks and Recreation. I've been watching that with my Very kids. funny. I love that show. Rashida Jones, right? Yep. I had a bit of a crush on her. You did? I did, yeah. Thank you. It's a and really smart. funny show, and it go, it gets better and better and better as you go through it. Watch House of Cards too, mm -hmm. which has been really, really good. The latest season, you know, when they platformed uh, Robin Wright's character and really delved into her past and her life, I thought it really strengthened the show. So yeah, those are the two shows that I've been watching recently. So there you go. So, all right. Um, since we're... Here we go. From Bina Surya. She says, Martin, if you had, if you had to get stuck in the elevator with I think it'd be Jason George, because he could probably get me out of that elevator. Yeah. He's he's sort of like an army guy in real life, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's, is he a bit of an army he comes from an army family? He looks something. like an army guy. He's got that yeah. So I reckon Jason George would figure out how to rip the thing off and put the wires together and get the thing going. So that would be why. I would do that too. I'd choose him too. Yeah. I think he'd yeah. He'd be a good man in a storm. He he's would. He wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. He's a kinda of, he's a, be a good guy to have in a, in an emergency, in a crisis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I think we're done. We're done. We're, we're done. Told this is all we can do. Sorry. But, but it was lovely yeah, answering your questions. Thanks for watching the show. We hope to keep entertaining you for many seasons to come. Yeah. And um, yeah, catch us on Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. yeah. Signing off. Bye. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> Bye.